To me, it, it's all completely preposterous. I was working on the Hamiltons and the SMTs. I was like, these things are just giant panini presses. Brandon came and talked to me and he told me something he wanted to do with the last SMT before it got taken out. I was just like, hey, I think I can make a grilled cheese with like the SMT. Can I do that? His response is just, as long as I can record it. I was like, okay, cool. With our information, it's MRP0001. Stampers of the first job that was made on this press. It's the very first press installed here at Memphis Record Pressing with the stampers of the very first job making the very first vinyl record press grilled cheese. The Texas toast, that was the key. Take bread slices, give me a little extra room with the squeeze of the press and grind some cheese, lathered it up. I've had tons of time to think this through. I was making records but imagining that they're grilled cheeses. Oh, yeah, okay. what, what do you think I got so good at my job? As per usual, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. You gotta make sure it doesn't have any scratches or dimples on it. Right. Hopefully no crushed grooves. As it's cooking, I'm just like, holy cow, I think this is actually working. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's ready. Lo and behold, it worked. It was probably one of the best looking grilled cheeses I've ever made. <laughs> and I had no clue that that was gonna happen. I think I need QC to listen to this. It doesn't even have a center hole in it. Like, I even took a couple of bites. As soon as I got done, you know, I put them in the sleeve, I signed and date the sleeve, I just wrote, one grilled cheese, delicious. You can go up into the archives of the main building, look for 0001, you can find that sleeve. So I hope until the end of time for Memphis Record Pressing, they keep that just <laughs> for the sheer ridiculousness of it.